probably leads to my next question for dance practitioners, regardless of their dance genre, how can they access the skills and knowledge and expertise to develop dance for people with Parkinson's as part of their, mm. their delivery? Um, great, so the, the program is, uh, so Mark, the Mark Morris Dance Company offers teacher training programs, and so David Leventhal, who's one of the program founders and uh, program directors in, in New York and sort of internationally, he came out here in May and did a teacher training workshop in Sydney and then in Brisbane. So if people are interested in becoming, uh, in teaching classes, um, there's lots of information on the Dance for PD website, which is danceforpd.org, or we have a new Dance for Parkinson's Australia website, brand new, it's launching today. So, um, danceforparkinsonsaustralia.org. So the best thing for a local teacher to do is to contact one of the people in his or her communities and um, go and participate in a class. Um, because we don't have people come and watch, you have to always participate and see if it's something that they're interested in. And then uh, contact me or the, the local uh, contact as far as more information and if there will be a possibility of doing future trainings, which it looks like that there will be at some point in the future. And can you perhaps tell us a little bit about your personal involvement with, with this whole extraordinary development of the dance, dance industry? How did you connect mm. in with it and what got you to this point in your dance career? Well, I, uh, I started uh, as a professional ballet dancer and then have progressed to do more contemporary work and have run a small contemporary dance company and have been more involved in a lot of community dance work and when I was living in San Francisco uh, one of the studios that I had a, an affiliation with was uh, a hub for uh, Dance for Parkinson's class. They were sort of the second major center of Dance for Parkinson's and so I was able to see and experience some of the classes and uh, someone in my local community I actually always thought oh I can go and be trained and be a teacher and and you know, do it in this program, but someone came to me and said, I really want to start a class and I think we should do it together. And so I said, okay. So I started by launching, working with David and, and the Dance for Parkinson's program to launch another program in Marin County. <clears throat> and then when I moved to Australia, there was an interest in developing programs here and because there hadn't been any trained teachers up until that point, um, they hadn't been able to start anything even though that there was a lot of interest and so have slowly been talking to lots of support groups and um, you know, wonderful members of the community who have been able to step forward and, and, and support in different ways and then uh, connected and presented at the National Parkinson's Conference last year. So slowly, slowly in a sort of a grassroots activism mm -hmm. aspect, mm -hmm. uh, that's how we've been building the program. Okay. And